There you go, so all you gotta do is aim it. Yeah, put it in there before the chain breaks. Hook it back to the winch line. And that concludes this silliness. Nah, nah, we gotta go and show them your uh, mixer. I already saw it. You saw it, but you these guys didn't see it. We gotta tie it down in there. I'll tie it down with the noise box off. Been busy, guys, just been busy. We were working on that, got that all ready to go. Got a box of parts and all sorts of stuff. Bringing wood into the Jeffrey's uh, boiler. We'll show you what he's working on. He's always up to something. This Jeffrey's boiler, if you haven't seen it, he made this thing. Eugene's in the way. They're, they're trying to stack wood in there. Can't do a movie with them stacking wood in there. Uh-oh, the radio's going. I don't know how to turn it off. I don't even know where it is. Wait, you're not supposed to be listening to that. I'm trying to find a... Oh, there it is. I, I will unplug it so YouTube people don't get mad at um, something. There you go. He is working on one of a million things but he decided he wanted a a three a mixer now they took all the what color was this thing to begin with jadeite green. green he wanted it almond so they eugenius which he's just going up took and blasted all the other color off and then they reporcelain this somehow i, I have no idea but it is gorgeous. They're waiting on the original cup holders for here. He's redone everything, redid it, all the motors. Isn't that thing beautiful? They have one of these, but see how it's got a little nick in it? I don't know if you, Hamilton Beach, that, it's not supposed to have that nick in there. And so that's not up to standard, so they, they got to New one coming for there on that. Um, so that's what's kind of going on down here, what he's working on. They, they got a, 
let's see he's got a motor I don't know what that motor over there is doing this motor here is a Corvette motor that they're rebuilding so anyhow isn't that thing gorgeous the old boy does a good job it was in a million pieces all the motors were out in a million pieces and all that there's the cups that came with it never saw one with a a lid like this kind of thinks it's a mixer a mixer cup cup anyhow that's about it oh the muffler Eugenius has got the muffler what do you got there uh, okay here's what the picture of it was before and in a million parts is that I know you got pictures of all the parts because you got pictures of everything Hello. nope that's something else okay well that's blasting blasting all the green off those are all the instructions that's the top piece that's how nasty the thing looked to begin with oh that's a generator so we got pictures of a nice generator oh well that's that's good anyhow we're going to put the lid on this this video uh oh it's some kind of porcelain paint he put on there. Do you know what it is? Nope. I know it was a What was that porcelain paint that you used on this thing? <laughs> Anyhow, it was some kind of special porcelain porcelain paint that they do redo bathtubs with. So You look pretty good there, Eugenius. Say hi to YouTube. Hello. You guys want to need a tow truck, there's a perfect tow truck out here to fit your needs. It's Eugenius's tow truck. He's the one that had the fire trucks. He runs a towing business. A little smoky out here. We just put some wood in some boiler. That's, huh? I'll put that in the cab, yeah. I got a box up there I got to get to. This is Eugenius's tow truck. If you're in the, I don't know, Frederick, Mount Airy, Germantown, Gaithersburg area, check Eugene's towing out. I imagine, he, I don't know whether he's got any pictures on it or not. He's got all sorts of stuff. Uh, we're discussing tables and tables and that kind of stuff. There's a worthless dog. Now this is a table. It's been in past videos of showing it working. <coughs> Four by eight. And what, um, basically what it does was, <coughs> excuse me, it, it comes down and then the leg, you level it to the leg. And then as you're splitting the stuff, from the skid splitter you put it on there and then it slides right down and then it goes through here this thing here that i guess they call it grouser bars it's it's the way it is here because this thing will sit here and wobble and shake some of the crud out somewhere there's a motor and chain tucked up under here here's you can kind of see it up here oh doggy look at this you just you just soaking up any kind of loving you can get aren't you anyhow that's what this piece is bronze bushings in here to pivot it not that it goes high speed but this is the big this is the big splitter and uh, it's made out of almost all leftover parts these cylinders here were left over these cylinders here you know, no no money out of our pockets. These were out of no money out of the pockets off those trash compactors I got that levels this thing up. This is um, this is solid steel here. This is about three and a half by about one and a half. There's a whole bunch of that in here that was all left. Um, they did buy the plate there. That valve bank came out of an old mower that was there. They bought that valve because that's a high uh, high volume valve. But you can see this is all that solid steel here solid steel up there the cylinder that's in here came out of that other wood splitter he's got um, there's another load leveler in this the trailer was a something that had been sitting around here for years it had been sitting around long enough that the, 
metal termites got into it. You can see where there's a few holes in it. This is a uh, just bathroom divider we made to keep these hoses in line. What else? The motor was a, actually that's a uh, four-cylinder John Deere motor, and um, that was uh, a freebie. That didn't cost nothing either. The tank, I th I'm not sure. I think he made this tank. This tank over here, it's got a 50-gallon fuel tank. Got a 50-gallon fuel tank on it here. That's just a regular old 50-gallon fuel tank. And what we do is we put a get a get a plug and then tap the two plugs. One's got a dip tube that goes way down, and one stays up for the return. And these make great gas gas tanks. So that's what we got on that. That's what's on my uh, 671 Detroit down at the. Um, new sawmill big sawmill so that's a look around this sorry i haven't been getting any any videos out oh say we also got lights on it uh i haven't gotten any videos out i've been so daggone busy and forgot the camera i forgot the tripod down here so that made it kind of difficult um let's see yesterday i spent all day lost in pennsylvania I went up, you know, you need to buy something when you don't know where it's located at. So that's what I did. I went up there and I looked at the map and um, realized real quick when I got to where the map said I was supposed to be, it wasn't like I saw on the map. So consequently, I was lost. And I spent an hour and a half driving around Pennsylvania till I could find out where I was at. And I was going to a place called McGrew's Auctions um, to pick something up that... I had bought and I'll have to when I go home I have to show you what I got which is it's nothing nothing spectacular I forgot that it's nothing spectacular it's just something it's it's a backup piece for uh well I haven't even made sure I know what it is yet so uh and then yesterday I was up at neighbor Jim's getting a lift that I lent him I don't know 10 10 years ago or better and told him just keep it and i'll come get it when i need it and i need it for he's getting ready to go to florida he's one of those guys that goes down to florida when it gets cold and he'll be down there oh i don't know for a couple days anyhow um i told him i'd have it done by the time he gets back um so that's that's uh kind of an inter interesting thing to do um, and he enjoys the warm weather, so that's that's good. Where else am I? So I put that in the new sawmill because I needed that for down there. Yesterday I spent the day in Pennsylvania. Saturday I spent the uh, better part of the afternoon at a Christmas party with the wife, which was a got-to-do thing. And so I just haven't been able to get any videos out. So now we got another rainstorm coming in, um, not tomorrow, the day after tomorrow. So maybe I'll get something worthwhile seeing. Uh, when I get home, I'll, I'll video taking this off and setting it on the ground. It took me a while to get the truck out because it was so muddy. I, I tore up the lawn pretty good. So I might leave it on the high side for a while. So that's it for this one. Over and out. I'm glad you stopped by. See you later.